Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a Washington DC based flight attendant who enjoys balancing my traveling lifestyle with health and wellness. And today we are here in the kitchen. We are not flying today. We're actually going to be doing a meal prep with me video and I'm going to show you everything that I'm meal prepping for my trip starting tomorrow. It's a three day trip. So we are going to be prepping breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks, all that, and also some wellness shots. We're gonna make wellness shots with the juicer today as well. If you're not a flight attendant, I'm sure you can also find this video useful if you're someone that enjoys meal prepping. I like to meal prep high protein because I do work out quite often. So high protein is something that I personally need in my diet. So that is what we're going for today. So let's see, what do I wanna get started with? I know for breakfast we're doing egg bites. And this is where I'm a little bit lazy because I meal prep my lunch and my dinner and that already takes a lot of work. So honestly, I just take these little frozen egg bites with me on the go, but I'm going to actually cook up some turkey bacon in the oven to go along with this just to add a little bit more protein. So I think I'm gonna get started with the turkey bacon. So let's go ahead and put this up to 400 and let that preheat. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the dinners, which is going to be ground turkey spaghetti. Okay, you guys, we're trying this voiceover thing. So we're just chopping up some zucchini and squash here that we're going to saute. It's going to be a part of the meat sauce for the spaghetti. At the same time, we're going to put in the turkey bacon on 400 degrees in the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it for your personal preference and cooking up the ground turkey as well and throwing on a pot of water just to get that boiling for our noodles. Of course we season up the veggies and the meat and once those are done cooking we are going to combine them. I'm pulling out the turkey bacon here and we're actually going to do another round of turkey bacon as well but I'm just going to go ahead and throw the chickpea pasta in and go ahead and add the sauce to create our meat sauce for the spaghetti and then go ahead and throw in that extra pan of turkey bacon. So when it comes to chickpea pasta, it's kind of essential that you pull it out a minute or two before you normally would and rinse it with cool water to avoid it getting mushy. I prefer chickpea pasta at this point because it's just higher in protein and yeah. So we're just filling up the containers with the pasta and meat sauce and that completes our spaghetti. So the spaghetti is done. Now we are going to move on to making our lunches for the next few days, which I'm going to do buffalo chicken pinwheels. So the first thing we need to do is air fry our chicken breasts. So we're loading up the air fryer now with the chicken breasts. These are pretty thinly cut, so I did them on, I believe, 360 for 10 minutes. But oil them up, season both sides, and then just pop them in the air fryer or however you personally prefer to cook your chicken. But I just love chicken in the air fryer. It comes out so perfect every single time. It's just easy this way. See, look how perfect it is. Just like so juicy and good. We're going to throw it in a bowl and just start shredding up the chicken now and then we are going to coat the shredded chicken with buffalo sauce. Just be sure to let the chicken cool off a bit before starting to load it into the wraps. That way things don't get soggy sooner because these are going to be prepped for three days in advance. Using light ranch here to start off, then you can put any greens you prefer. I used spinach, then some cheese, and then adding the shredded buffalo chicken on top. And then we're just going to tightly wrap up our wrap here and then slice it into little pinwheels. And I just added three days worth of these into one container because I'll be eating them cold on the plane. We're going to get started with our juicing prep. So we're chopping up oranges, lemons, ginger, and turmeric root for this. Okay, just finished all of the pinwheels for all three days. Filled up this container with it. So the spaghetti yielded four servings. One I'm leaving at home for my boyfriend because I only need three dinners, but just for reference, that did make four full containers. I have 
three days of pinwheels. I have the turkey bacon made, so we're basically done with our cooking. Now we are going to get into the juicing, and as you saw, I already chopped up all of the goods. We are making wellness immunity shots this time, so they're gonna be very strong, gingery, turmeric, lemony, so they're gonna be in like little glass bottles I'm gonna bring with me. So we're going to get into that now, but yeah, all of the hard stuff is over, and I already basically cleaned up all of the dishes from it, so let's get into the juicing. You guys, this juicer is like the best thing that ever happened to me and it's pink. I'm so obsessed with it and I've been making all different types of juices and wellness shots recently to bring with me on the trip. It helps with bloating, helps with immunity, helps with hydration. You definitely don't need to go out and buy an expensive juicer. This one was gifted to me, but I know you can make these juices with a blender as well. There's plenty of tutorials on that on YouTube, of course. But yes, this thing is just so satisfying to use. We're adding black pepper because that activates the turmeric that we added in. And we're just going to divvy this up into six different glass wellness shot bottles. Finally finished cleaning up the kitchen. We're done with our juicing, done with our meal prep. I have a little extra of the juice left over, so I'm going to give it a try. It's supposed to be like extra spicy because this isn't like a juice you drink a lot of. It's a drink you take in like shot form. So let's give it a go. Ooh, spicy and lemony. It's good though. That is good. Very strong, but very good. I'm happy with that. Anyways, now I'm going to continue getting ready for my trip tomorrow, so I have some laundry to fold, my bag to pack, all my devices to plug in, what else, I need to steam my uniform, all of the usual things. But I hope this video helped give you some inspiration for your next meal prep. If you're a flight attendant, 10 out of 10 recommend meal prepping for your trips. I rave about this all the time, but you save a ton of money, it helps you eat right, and then you're never running into a situation where you have to spend a ton of money on ordering food because it's too late to go out somewhere or you're stuck somewhere where there's no food around. Yeah, because I know I've worked some 12 hour days where I have literally zero time in between my flights, whether it's because of delays or it's just scheduled out that way. So if you don't have food with you, I don't know what people do. Like I feel like my lunchbox is my security blanket at this point. So even if you're not a flight attendant, I hope you could take something away from this video. Say hello to my kitty. <laughs> Again, my name is Maddie. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos of this sort, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.